Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Nim. Today, pag-aaralan naman natin kung paano ba tayo nagko-convert ng decimals to fractions. Start tayo dito sa given example. We have 0.25 or 25 hundredths. Makakatulong sa inyo yung mga previous topics na diniscuss ko dito sa channel ko, especially yung about decimals, fractions, and how to find the GCF sa pagko-convert natin ng decimals into fractions. Paano nga ba tayo nagko-convert ng decimals to fractions? Una, kopyahin mo muna to, yung 25 na yan, and that will be your numerator. And then, maglagay ka ng 1 na denominator mo. Tapos, kung ilang decimal places ito, yun yung number ng zeros na ilalagay mo dun sa denominator. So, you have 1, 2. Kasi, di ba, 1 and 2. Pero, ako, kadalasan, ah, uh, ang iniisip ko na lang is the place value of the last digit. Halimbawa, dito, 2 and 5. Ano ba yung place value ng 5? Di ba, hundreds? Kaya, yun yung ginagawa kong denominator. Kopihin ko lang yung 25, tapos, since hundreds naman ang kanyang place value, naglalagay ako ng 100 sa ilalim. Pero kung kayo, kung saan kayo mas nadadalian, yun ang sundin ninyo. Yung sa akin lang kasi is that, uh, kabisado ko naman yung place value nung decimals, kaya mas madali kasi para sa akin na maglagay agad ng denominator kung ano yung place value niya. Alright, so we have 25 over 100. Hindi pa ito yung final answer natin kasi we have to reduce this fraction to its uh, smaller terms. So, paano ba gagawin natin dito? Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, magagamit natin yung... Uh, tinuro ko last time yung how to find the greatest common factor of two numbers. So, we have to find the GCF of 25 and 100 here. Paano? Dito sa 25 over 100, obvious naman na factor kasi ng 100 yung 25. So, ang GCF na nilang dalawa is 25. Okay? Pero dun sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam kung paano hinahanap yung greatest common factor ng dalawang numbers, pwede nyo i-check yung isa kong ginawang tutorial video on how to find the GCF of two numbers. Okay? So, i-divide natin parehas yung 25 and 100 by 25 kasi yun ang kanilang GCF. 25 divided by 25 is equal to 1. And 100 divided by 25 is equal to 4. Okay, so the final answer is 1 fourth. Try naman natin itong given na 0.12 or 12 hundredths. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, kopyahin nyo lang yung number. And that would be the numerator. So you have 12. And then maglagay ka ng denominator na 1. At bilangin mo yung number of decimal places. So we have 1 and 2. Since dalawa, maglagay ka dito ng dalawang zeros. So you have 12 over 100. Pero hindi pa ito ang ating final answer because we have to reduce it to its smaller terms. So, paano ba natin yan? i -re reduce We have to find for the GCF of 12 and 100. Okay? So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, nakapag upload na ako ng tutorial video ko in finding the GCF of two numbers. 12 and 100. Ano ba ang kanilang greatest common factor? The greatest common factor of 12 and 100 is 4. So, we have to divide both by 4. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And 100 divided by 4 is equal to 25. So, the final answer is 3 over 25 or 3 25ths. Now, let's try this given example. So, we have 0 0.018 or 18 thousandths. So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, kopyahin muna natin yung number. So, you have 18 over, then, maglagay tayo ng 1 sa denominator, and count the number of decimal places, 1, 2, and 3. So, yun yung number ng zeros na ilalagay natin, 1, 2, and 3. At yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na dapat alam ninyo yung place value ng decimals. Kasi, mas madali na sa inyo kung halimbawa, itong, itong 0, tenths, and then yung 1, hundredths, yung 8, thousands. Kung alam nyo na thousands yung place value ng 8, madali na sa inyo yun. Lagay nyo na lang ng 1,000 sa ilalim. 18 thousands. 18 over 1,000. Okay, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina dun sa first example ko. 
Okay, now i-reduce natin yung 18 over 1,000 or yung 18 thousandths sa lowest terms. Paano? Kuhanin natin ang GCF nilang dalawa. So, we have 18 and 1,000. Para dun sa mga hindi nakapanood ng video ko, ng tutorial video in finding the GCF of two numbers using continuous division. So, eto yun. We have 18 and 1,000. Yan ang kukuhanin natin ng greatest common factor. Una, since sila naman dalawa ay parehas even number, i-divide natin sila by 2. Okay? 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. And 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. Now, meron pa bang common factor yung 9 and 500? Divisible ba sila parehas by 2? Obviously, no, because yung 9 ay odd number. How about by 3? Hindi pa rin, kasi yung 500, hindi. And then by 5, obviously, hindi, dahil yung 9 ay hindi divisible by 5. Okay, by 7, hindi pa rin, and by 11, hindi pa rin. So, hanggang dyan na lang tayo. Okay, so we have to divide 18 and 1,000 by 2. The answer is 9 over 500. Try natin itong last example ko. So, we have 0.6 or 6 tenths. Copyhin natin yung 6. So, that would be the numerator. Maglagay tayo ng 1 sa denominator. At ilang decimal places ba yun nandito nakikita ninyo? So, we have 1. So, isang 0 lang ang ilalagay natin. O, ba Ang daling tandaan kung alam ninyo ang place value ng decimals. Kung ito ay tenths, maglalagay ka lang ng 10 sa denominator. 6 tenths. Okay? So, kuhanin natin ang GCF ng 6 and 10. Ano ba ang GCF ng 6 and 10? So, have 2. So, i-divide natin parehas by 2 yung 6 and 10. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. So, the final answer is 3 fifths. I hope natuto kayo kung paano mag-convert ng decimals to fractions. So, sa mga natuto, like naman ang video na to. And please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell para updated kayo sa lahat ng tutorial videos ko. Salamat!